What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over some information in regards to Eddie Thawne for The Flash Season 8. So basically what's going on here is recently the actor who plays Eddie Thawne being Rick Cosnett recently posted on his Instagram uh, a picture of him on an airplane. And this airplane was a uh, Canada airline and obviously um, when The Flash films they film in Vancouver which is of course in Canada. And I can't show you guys the picture because it is no longer up on his Instagram. Uh, but the theory is that he was either going to or coming from uh, Vancouver from, from or going to film episodes of The Flash. Um, and the reason why this is so weird is because we know he's in uh, episode 6 of season 8, but that was filmed a while ago. So this would be from like in, for like an entire new storyline for like new episodes later in the season that we don't even know anything about yet. Now, obviously, him being on a Canadian airline does not mean that he is going to be coming back on The Flash later in the season, uh, but it's always fun to make theories. But now, let's say that this theory is true, that Eddie Thon is actually going to be back on The Flash Season 8 for more than just Episode 6. Um, obviously, we're all hoping that he ends up being Cobalt Blue. Now, I know a lot of people think that he could also end up being Red Death instead of uh, Cobalt Blue, and I would be alright with that, but I think Cobalt Blue would be much cooler to see. So yeah, with that being said, how exactly could a Cobalt Blue storyline work on The Flash Season 8? Now, I've always said that I think Reverse Flash could have a really good role in a Cobalt Blue storyline, but now that we know that Matt Letcher's Reverse Flash is going to be returning on Legends of Tomorrow, I think he would be a great, uh, a great character to add into this storyline, or for at least the return of Eddie Thawne. It doesn't matter if he's playing Cobalt Blue or, you know, who else. Um, I think uh, having Matt Letcher in the storyline of Eddie Thawne's return would definitely make sense, and that would pretty much be perfect, I think. So with a Cobalt Blue storyline, we could say uh, maybe uh, Reverse Flash was able to somehow time travel and revive Eddie, and then that's why that's how they explain that Reverse Flash is still living. Uh, because the last time they actually explained how Reverse Flash was still alive, I believe, was Season 4. Um, they really have not explained that, like, at all since then. So yeah, I think they could say, you know, something along those lines that Eddie Thon was saved by Eobard Thon, um, and then maybe Eobard turns him into a speedster the way that, uh, the way that he turned himself into a speedster. I think that would be really cool to see. And then maybe Eobard is somehow able to, to change Eddie's mind to where he becomes a villain and hates Barry. Uh, I think that would be a really cool storyline that, that would also set up a little bit of like a redemption arc for Eddie over the season. And I think that would work really well. Uh, so something like that with Eobard Thawne thrown into the mix, I think would make a really good storyline on the Flash Season 8. Now there's also the question, instead of Cobalt Blue, could Eddie Thawne actually end up being the Red Death? Now, I think that's definitely possible because we know, first of all, here's my theory, is that instead of, you know, like, uh, two people combining to create the Red Death, like Batman and the Flash in the comics, uh, I think it could be as something as simple on the show as somebody getting, like, connected to the negative speed force, like, sort of like the Reverse Flash, except they just have a different name, the Red Death. I think that would definitely make sense, um, and I think because the negative speed force sort of, you know, warps people's minds, sort of like it did to Nora West Allen back in Season 5, uh, I think if Eddie Thawne was somehow connected to the negative speed force i think it would warp his mind enough for him to become a villain and to become the red death um i think that would be a really cool storyline now we do know uh for two episodes this season ronnie raymond is going to be returning now this is a this is an insanely wild theory um, but what if, what if, you know, Eddie Thon, all this Eddie Thon stuff is a big misunderstanding and Ronnie Raymond is actually the next main villain as the Red Death. Now, obviously you guys are like, what? That doesn't even make sense. He's only appearing twice in the season. Hear me out. Here's what I think could happen. I think that, you know, in episode 11, I believe is when Ronnie Raymond first appears. I think when he appears that time, that could be like, uh, like uh, revealing to the audience that he is Red Death or something like that. Um, and then every other time the Flash faces Red Death, he has his mask on. And then the next time we see Ronnie Raymond appear um, would be in the finale of that storyline where he is he's unmasked and we see that he is Ronnie Raymond. I think that would be awesome. Obviously, it's an extremely unlikely theory, um, but I think that would be really cool. But yeah, all those things that I just mentioned about Eddie Thawne and Ronnie Raymond are, of course, just theories, guys. None of this is confirmed, like, not even close to confirmed, um, other than the fact that Ronnie Raymond will be appearing in two episodes this season. But something that I think what I would like to happen the most um, is just seeing Matt Letcher return back on The Flash. I think that would be so cool. Hopefully he filmed, like, just, like, one or two scenes uh, for The Flash Season 8. I think that would be great to see. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I'd say that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. 
make sure to comment your thoughts on this video down below as well as your thoughts on all this stuff. Who do you guys think the next main villain might be? And I'll see you guys in the next video.